what would coaching and mentoring access to you look like? Are you willing to answer? Obviously we do Q and A on YouTube. If somebody has one question about how to approach something, are you able to do that? But then what if somebody wants, like you're their phone a friend mm -hmm. and kind of they get more access to you, what would that look like? What are you willing to share with people? So I think where I would like to go, you know, and this isn't well thought out because it hasn't been a plan really, but just sort of as we're spitballing it here as you're asking me the questions, I think that ultimately I would like to have long-term relationships with people versus sure I can do the one-off question. Here's the layout, the scenario, and I can give you an answer. That's all fine and dandy, but I, I don't know what the monies would be, what it would take to have me be a phone a friend, but I would like it to be life coaching-esque in that it's in that style, if you understand how life coaches work, they're sort of that phone a friend and, and they're that. But it would it'd be life pool coaching friend, you know, that we could talk about philosophy of life because that's what I'm going to do anyway. If you're going to follow and, and create this new path, it's all about as much about your life and your lifestyle that as, as it is about your, your, your career style. So it would be that blend and I would want... I would want these people to be in my life for a while. I don't think it would be a, say it was a membership thing or a one month thing or per month thing. I don't think while we could get some stuff done in a month, I think it would probably have to be somewhat of a, of a long-term commitment. Ultimately it could be short term, but I would personally like to know that I'm in it for a while with someone that, this happened yesterday, and this was a great statement. Uh, we were pouring concrete, last concrete pour on this project, and there's a lot, there's hundreds of yards of concrete on this project. And the driver, a guy I'd never met before, said to me, well, why did you do it that way? Why didn't we pour the steps first while the concrete was, you know, was at a slump of five instead of six to do the patios? He goes, you know, because then it'd be easier. It's not running downhill. I said, I understand. However, I, I know what needed to get done. These were mo most important. I had the steps set up as an add-on that if there was concrete left, I always make sure that I have concrete somewhere else to use the concrete. Instead of sending it back, I'm always going to have something else to do with it. And he goes, well, I was just wondering because I wanted to learn how I'm going to work with you in the future. You know, that... His him wanting to know why my process was the way it was, was him doing one of two things, trying to tell me backhandedly that I was wrong, which I didn't think that's what it was, or he gen, genuinely wanted to know why I did it backwards based on how he would do it. And what he didn't understand was, I have all these contingencies that once that's done, once that's done, if there's concrete left, we do this. If there's not, then we have a good stopping point. But if I did that first, I wouldn't finish the two objectives that I needed done. If I used the concrete up there and didn't finish the other two, then we would have been really screwed. So it was interesting, though, that he was saying is, is he wanted to learn my process to know how to work with me in the future. Well, that's it would be the same thing here that, sure, I can help you design that one project and you can go bang it out and it'll be amazing. But what if we could grow a little bit together? What if we could take what we learned there and push it a little bit farther and I could help you stretch your imagination a little bit more? No, you don't do that in one or two phone calls. You don't do that in one or two face meetings. You you do that over a period of time. That's what I could see being is a long-term relationship. We're not saying it has to be a paid relationship for 10 years, but a period of time that we gain each other's trust and understanding and that I get to understand how you think. So I can put term I can put things in terms that you would understand that make it easier for you to communicate with the customer or have me help communicate with that with the customer. So to be a little more in, intimately involved would be where I would want to be. I don't want to be the one doing the blueprint drawing that's being sent to the to the township. I don't want to be the one figuring out the square footage and the cost of materials. Can I do that? Yes. And if you need if you need help with that, I could help do that. That would not be my goal. My goal would be 
kind of from the 10,000 foot view, how we could make really, really cool stuff without you having to make all the, go through all the same mistakes. You know, how, how can I get you to a, a much higher level by not having to go and make all those basic routine mistakes that everyone has to make to get there? You're going to make other mistakes, I get it, but why not make high-level mistakes? Instead of making low-level mistakes until you get to the high level, why not get through all of that and then make a big mistake that helps you become even better? Way better than you starting down here and, you know, being, I'll be ready for this in five years. No. You know, why take five years or 10 years or 15 years to make the mistakes I made? Well, Why you're not? calling them mistakes. Well, Weren't they just things that they were, you wouldn't they do were, again the yes, same way? They yes, were, they were room for Learning growth and opportunity, curve. yes. And why make those same ones if you can buy... If you could buy your way out of making those mistakes for very little money compared to what the mistake could be, why wouldn't you do that? Why would you go for X number of dollars, put whatever number it is on, $500, $5,000, $50,000, or whatever the number is. If... If you could buy your way out of making that costly investment by... Can you give me an example of one of these mistakes? Is it oh, oh, the oh, way that you... Sure, there, there's, there's hundreds of them. Let's just talk about uh, co anything related to structurally and concrete. So what if, let's just say you go, I want to put stone. All right, I'll use the perfect example. Something that I witnessed that I saw happen because I had to fix it. Homeowner said to a guy who built a vinyl liner pool. Guy was known to build all kinds of vinyl liner pools. He's got all kinds of issues. I get it. What the, what the homeowner did was ask him to put stone, big piece of slab stone on the side of the pool. No problem until it is builder said oh yeah landscaper go ahead just put those stones right on my pool wall hold it up no problem it won't be any big deal landscaper having nothing invested other than placing the stones and making some money on it goes ahead and does it well a year later stones dropped walls bowed broken up busted apart looks terrible pools leaking everything possibly could be wrong Customer calls me. So have you ever seen anything like this before? Before, uh, well, I've seen things like this, and I know how to fix it. Really? So, so what's it going to cost to fix? Twenty thousand dollars later, twenty grand. It took us to remove those stones, break out that end wall, literally fill that whole cavity with concrete, and reset those stones so that no no longer going to move. See that? In that particular case, 500 bucks would have been nothing for the builder to have asked the right questions to someone, or $1,000, $5,000 would have still been a heck of a deal to have someone help you make that decision so you didn't make the mistake. Instead, it cost 20 grand to get it back to where it should have been originally, but someone didn't want to ask the right questions or, or do the right thing or spend a few extra dollars to do it right. Instead, they did it the cheap way and it failed and it cost 20 to, I think it was between 20 and $25,000 to fix it. So if that were me, I would have easily been willing to spend $500, $1,000, $5,000 to get the pref professional opinion and belief that it would have worked. So that's just that's just a twenty thousand dollar mistake. But how many fifty and hundred and two hundred and five hundred thousand dollar mistakes are there? And I'm saying mistake, but they're really learning curves. But they're really expensive learning curves. Let's not do that again. What if you didn't have to do it in the first place? If someone could guide you away from it, and and that's again kind of what we're talking about.